We can't multiply both sides by x squared minus 1 because we don't know if it's positive or negative, so we take 3 from both sides, i.e. x minus 3 over x squared minus 1 minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Now putting it over a common base, we have x minus 3 minus 3x three squared minus 1 over, and also at the same time factorising by the difference of 2 squares at the bottom, greater than or equal to 0. Tidying this up, we have x minus 3x squared over x plus 1 x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Taking the x out gives us x 1 minus 3x over x plus 1. x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. We need now to multiply by minus 1 to flip this round, which gives us x 3x minus 1 over x plus 1 x minus 1, and because we multiply by minus 1, we have to flip the sign and less than or equal to 0. Now, looking at a number line here, using the points 0, minus 1, a third, and 1, we need odd numbers of these four to be negative, i.e. it must be between 1 third and 1, or minus 1 and 0. Note, because it's less than or equal to 0, x can be 0, and x can be a third, i.e. the square brackets here and here, so the answer is A.